Wake up. We're at the bar street. Hey. 25. You look exhausted. Still drinking? You're a fighter, huh? Thanks. Cheers. Hey, man. Do you want to sleep in my car? I'm not in a hurry. Excuse me, where's the Wubar? Wubar? Yeah. <laughs> he wants Wubar. Yeah, it's up ahead. It's on the right. Where are you? I'm here. So why don't I don't see you? That. I'm at Bar Street. I'm warning you, don't be late. It's not going to kill you to be nicer to me. Really important. What's so important we can't talk at home? Hey, you can't go! You can't leave it like You haven't been home in six months. Invitation? Invitation? Third anniversary party. Oh. Do I need one to go in? Wait a sec. Huh? Did you? Did you imagine? Oh. You know me? So, the cop. He's Chinese sucks, foreigner. <laughs> oh. Come in. Come in, please. <laughs> Personal stuff. Personal? I get it. Police are people too. You know, Captain, it's hard to get a lead these days. I mean, I just interviewed a drunk driver and those... Uh, okay, okay. We'll talk later. Woo! Room 7, where is it? What? Room 7. Me as visitors here. Just wait a minute, please. Life is just like a good cocktail. It's meant to be savored. Just drink it however you want. Oh, this is our boss, Mr. Wu. Hmm. Hello, Wu Jiang. Hello, Chung Wen. So, what do you think? Lie a jail. <laughs> You're right. And you might never get out. I'm joking. Mia isn't here yet. So why don't I show you around first? Come on. Because of the pollution? Yeah, I know. They all move. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Guess how long it took yeah, me to right. redecorate. Yeah, give me a minute. Hey, Brother John, hey, say hi. Two yeah, years it took. Yeah, so, uh, Most of the I other know. bars the same thing happened to me tore down all these fixtures. This kind of stuff, you can't even buy. So I kept it off. This piranha, are you idea? Huh. They're illegal. Well, I don't get why. They're foreign imports. In local waters, they are killers. Survival of the fittest, right? You know Mia well? Oh, she's a regular. She says your work keeps you too busy to see each other. She knows how to tell a story. Huh? Come on, freeze! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got you! Back here's my favorite room. Just 
up here. And why didn't you tell me about your party? Hey, sorry. I'll catch up with you. You know, my nightclub's full of customers. I'm losing money by being here. I haven't seen you in ages, huh? You look beautiful. A little lip tuck? Don't touch. It'll fall. Sir, which bottle do you want to open? Not drinking today. Oh, just open something, or else what will I tell my boss? Forget it. Once he decides, he doesn't change. Just leave it there. Open this one. Lift me up. Sure thing. One sec. Hey, I'm here. Oh, don't rush. What's with the tattoo? What about it? I have lots of them. On parts you can't see. Look who got smarter since she left home. But your temper today seems a lot better than before. Did you tell Mr. Wu lies? Tell I was a businessman? Well, I couldn't say you were a cop. Haven't said it in ages. All that time and hard work, no money. Sir, here you go. How's your hospital internship? You're always so worried. Did you, did you get that today? Hmm. Disinfectant? How'd you get that? Never mind. Jeez, just tell me. Someone called this morning. A guy selling skewers stabbed someone. Had nowhere to run and threatened suicide. Make up your mind! You tap in! Just calm down, huh? I got three conditions. One, I want you to give me back my stove. Sure, sure. Two, I'm not paying fines. And three, I won't go to jail. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? What's the you talking to him? Oh, no big deal then. It's important a life was a stake. Hey, man. You tried before? First time. Can you hit it? Think so, buddy. Come here, let's no, talk. No, no, no! I'm not talking to you! Get away! Go! Who'd you like to talk to then? I'm talking to her! Bring her here! I'm talking to her! You go! That went on all day. We were all exhausted. I was worried he would lose it. So you talked to him? I did not. The guy was mostly fine, and he said he would treat me to authentic lamb skewers. Risking your life for a stranger? I don't think it's worth it. So, why is it so important? You have to talk about it here. You'll find out soon. Come on, come on, that's not. Everyone's a victim of gossip these days. Don't admit anything. Yeah, bye. Hello, Mr. New. Mm. I'm TV Yeah, I've man. seen you on TV. Can I interview you? No, 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 you can't film. He looks that's familiar. Casual chat. Real estate guy. A regular. I've got money. How's for the girls? Hey! I want you to meet someone. Do you know this beauty? <laughs> You're such a flirt. Hello, boss. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Hey, stop it. No. Just stop it. Oh, yeah. Come, 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 come. Hey, it's been this such is... a long time. Come here. Yeah, this is my ex. How do you Don't meet this Mr. Wu? Yeah, he had an old injury. Came to the hospital. Hey, what do you think of him? Don't know yet. Don't know him. Sorry, Brother Joe. What can I say? It's a busy night tonight. Huh? What's a special occasion? <laughs> you know why. Introductions. He's my boyfriend. Now you know why I asked you here. Okay. You talk. I'll make my rounds. I don't like him. I'm telling you. I'm not asking your permission. How old is he? What does it matter? He's almost my age. Yeah, so what? He's just another good choice. 
Just look at the company he keeps. It looks like he's leading you on. Yeah, why would he do that? And why should I listen to you? Why do you like him? What can he give you? Makes me feel safe. I'm a policeman, and you need him to feel safe? He has time for me, and you don't. When I'm upset, he's always right there for me, and you're not. Cop, huh? Hey, let me see what's going on in there. Let me in. Hey, hey get, get off of me. Limitations? See? Got it right here. I know you're still angry with me. I feel like an orphan. Don't talk like that. It's your mom's death anniversary. Don't you talk about her. When she was alive, you were never at home. You had no idea what was going on. When I was sick in the winter, she carried me to the hospital all by herself. You only cared for me after she died. Don't need you. Excuse me. You! Look at where you are! What do you think you're doing? What am I doing? I only want what I move! Let the scumbag pay me and I'll go! You got it? Don't mess around with me! Let Get out now! I just want the pay you owe me! Do you have a death wish? I do! There's another way to handle this. Hey, I'll talk to you. Wait, who are you? I'm just having a drink. Please put out the fire now. Just pull it out. So, it's not the end of the world, just a minor issue. Well, to me, this is. You have been working for how many years? I've been working for 10 years now! Do you know there's a song? Come, come with me. Have a little talk. Out in the open. Come on, come. Go! I'll let this bastard see the light! You don't go! Hey, hey, hey. Where are you running to? Will you pay me today? You see it sometime, right? I can't pay you today! You! You lie again, you bastard! <laughs> That was sick. Hey, Dad, what's my tooth, man? So, you're an amateur, then. Oh, I already called the police. Oh. Hey, did you get that? It wasn't on. Huh? Get some guys over here to help. Call an ambulance, too. Uh, hey, stop it. Don't touch him. Just get back. <laughs> you're just fine. I don't feel fine. Where are you going? To find Wu Jiang. Come sit down. I know what you want to say. Captain, can you wait for me? I'll go into Beavis and you Nothing first. Wait here. No? The show's about to start. Well, Just seriously, wait. I can't. Oh, I'm really busy. Go, 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 go. I have customers waiting at me. You think everyone here is weird, right? No arguing with you. See a place like this? Strong people make trouble all the time. All kinds of people show up here. You worry too much. I hope you're right. You're always suspicious of everyone. Tonight's show is about to begin!
How long have I been now? Huh? You've been out for hours now. Guess you must have been tired. Why did you do this? Don't ask that yet. You should ask why the police took so long, and I'll tell you. Because that call was never made. You see, all those people who ran out earlier didn't want to get involved. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, kidnapping. And felony. At least ten years in jail. Where's my daughter? Right, so Mia. Waiting in the hall. She's a good girl. You have no right to talk about her. You know, she never mentioned Daddy's a policeman. I'd say you're not a good father. Or a good cop. I'm your real tiger. Oh, sir. The police are at the door. Ignore and leave us, yeah? Yeah. So you call the police then? Uh, I'm sorry. I use your phone to call. I answered a call, too, from your lieutenant. I described our situation. He's coming soon. Captain Zhang, you had experience in the army, two decades with the police, part of the SWAT team, too. Finally decorated. You were penalized once. What'd you ask for? I see you did some research. Too bad. You couldn't handle your family. Years of hard work. For a few thousand dollars a month. Took you years to buy a tiny flat. Worth it? Something you just don't get. Some things are priceless. Hey. Lieutenant Wu. Still on the way? Ah, oh, no rush. We'll talk soon. You should talk about your demands. Yeah, I don't think you need to tell me what to do. Some hostages are hurt. The police won't have the patience. I have enough of that for everyone. Say what you need to say. Okay. You're my real target. Guess what? I've made many enemies. Last year, I arrested some car thieves near here. Today, we shot a few men, so let's stick to the plan. One outside. Five in the van. The guy with the white hair is the leader. Do you know this white hair? Yeah, you. Everyone knows him. Police! Police! Stand up! Cover them! Is known for being especially vicious. You get hurt if you try to capture him yourself. Hey man, take it easy on me. I want to take you in myself. This is because of him? I said I heard of him. He's nothing. Not in my league. A lot of people who talk a tough game are boosting their egos. I agree. Uh, Lieutenant, you're here. Uh, I'm talking with Captain John. He's fine. Demands? Cash, 80, 90 million, non-sequential bills. Don't try and scare me. That's just not acceptable! You know, Wu, I don't know what you're doing. 
But you need to make a reasonable demand. Your lieutenant's got a bad temper. Don't raise your hopes. Anything we can do, we'll do our best. Don't be too hard on the lieutenant. We are not after the money. Yeah. Fine. I'll be honest. Listen, I want to see something. Finding people should be easy for you guys. But my friend is far away. Yeah, a long time. More of your questions, they'll be answered soon. <coughs> Let's talk now, slowly. Let's talk then! Is this a threat? Save your breath. I forgot. You've been shot. <laughs> I'm curious. What's it feel like to be shot? Just like getting hit with a bat. Suddenly, I couldn't feel my shoulders. And I had no feeling on my side. Then the pain burned through your heart. Pain? Yeah, I know pain. I know all about that. What's wrong with your leg? Oh. It's in the past. Did you ever kidnap anyone? <laughs> you got the hostage. Don't shoot. Captain, we got free. Stay safe. Stay safe. Now that's more like it. Listen, Lieutenant, are you really bad at small talk or just acting? Well, I want to see that person. No other demand. Not will try, it's you have to. Confirm in five minutes. Right, where were we? Oh, that's right. Talking it out. How are the guys doing? Just fine, but I broke his arm. Captain, backup's on the way now. They should be with you soon. I'm a policeman. Be brave. Police are coming. Stay where you are. Where's the other guy? <sighs> 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 <sighs>
Too bad we couldn't save the kid driving the truck. Suspect is still out there. It's a good story, but you guessed wrong. I hate guys who kidnap kids. Ah. Uh, there's no traffic at this hour. It shouldn't take too long. Hostages? They're doing fine. Quite sensible. Sure. I'm checking on them now. Fauci! Come up here! I want you to watch him. Everyone stay calm. How about we listen to some relaxing music? Come on, just a little taste. Of this, a carriage. You watch it. This stuff is strong. doesn't come. All the cops you bring won't help. Your procedures aren't my concern. What? You want to come in? No. I'm a man of my word. When my friend arrives, the hostages will be free to go. Come here! Except your captain, of course. This 
it up, everyone. I can't let you go, but you can make other requests. Open the door! What do you need? I need the bathroom. Anything else? Oh, Mr. Boo, can I interview please, you? Please, please, let me come on. What do you mean? Let me interview you. Get out. Get out! Zunan of the Life Channel. Today, I risk my life for an exclusive story. I'm here at a kidnapping. Next to me is the mastermind behind the situation. Um, can I say that? Uh, Mr. Wu must have a great story to tell everyone. Hey. Say hello to the audience. Let me go. I want a drink, okay? Let's continue. You think I'm emotionally unstable for doing this? Or do you think? I'm just plain insane. Uh, that's not what I mean. But what is your goal in committing this crime? This crime? I just did what everyone wants to, but doesn't dare. Let me go! Let me go! Leave her. Hey, I'm not done with the interview. Hey, Mr. Wu, look here. We just need one, one just quick look. So, are you done? You dated me just to get my paw to the bar, didn't you? If you want to put it that way. You used me. Let's just say, I'm not a good guy. And your dad's not a good cop. You want to feel safe? Your father can't make you feel that way, and neither can I. This is Zhong Wen. I still have fall. Are you safe? I'm safe and unhurt. What's going on in there? There's over a dozen hostages. There were four of them. I took one of them out. The boss Wu is the leader. He has a knock off 6 4. What are the demands he gave? He wants to see a prisoner, Tony. What's the name? Wei Xiao Fu. Wei Xiao Fu? The chief has agreed to bring him down. We're making arrangements. We're also implementing a plan for snipers and the SWAT team. I can do this good for a swan or something. The bar is two stories. The hostages are on the dance floor in a cage, watched by the three suspects. If we attack now, for an attack. Fine, understood. We could attack at any time though, so make sure you stay safe. Boss! That guy! He's gone! I have to go. Find him! Uh, Man, you're an idiot!
Come on. I bet you still can't take him down. We should talk about it. In your own words, let's talk it out slowly. Don't worry about me. I got an idea. Let's use her in an experiment and see what the law of the jungle means. Hano, come out! Of course. You'll want to think about it. But I should remind you, fingertips once eaten, ah! don't grow back. Ah! Don't! Hey! You there! Everything you say is completely and utterly useless! Well, what did I say? I just... You're so I annoying! Stop talking! Come on! I'm still stuck After here. this interview, she'll make department head. Oh, mind your own business. I can't believe that. Mm -hmm. Just like a journalist. Don't cry. I'm fine. I gotta get out of here. You think I could escape? You'll be fine. Seriously, <laughs> nothing is gonna happen to us. In my experience, we'll be released in What's half an hour. We have to be here. I get it. This kidnapping thing it happens throughout the world, and it's, what do you mean? it's always sorted out. If this was the rest of the world, they'd be killing hostages now. It's always about money. I know Wu really well. He doesn't need the money. <sighs> Where's the bed door? There's only Wu to the the barn door. himself. And he sealed the back door. Hey, what's your dad do? My pa's a cop. Back what do you think? Between them, mm, must be over a girl. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, we don't know him. I remember you. Uh, uh, the drugstore. Yeah, he, he tried to steal my stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't recognize you without your uniform. She was there, too. This is Lan Lan. She's now a manager at the club. And this is the famous Mr. New. We were all there that day, right? Hey, look inside. Something's happened. Captain, what, what happened to them? Must be fake. You've talked enough crap now. Look, Mr. Policeman, what's going on between you and Mr. Wu? Whatever it is, just settle it alone. Why do you have to involve us? What it's... do you mean, destiny? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Chief John. <laughs> Hello, high official. It's an honor to meet you. What? They're all fine. What do you mean? What do you think they're, they're, they're talking about? You want to see them, right? Do we get to go now? That's your Are they going to let us out? Fine, take a look. They're all perfectly happy and alive. This is Police Chief Yong Wei Min. Please stay calm. I'll do my best to get all of you out soon. Yes, Mr. Wu, you go yes. ahead. Wait. Yes. I want you to film everything here. Time to talk business. And the suspects. Why isn't my friend here? You trying to trick me? You need to give us more. 
more time for several reasons. I don't care. You got five minutes. <laughs> Only five more minutes. Fine. But if he's not here in ten minutes, don't say I didn't warn you. Mr. Wu, come here. I want to talk to you. Go ahead. Just you and I. The old place. John, look where you are. What's there to say? You just won the five of us. Why involve so many innocent victims? I need more chips. Besides, how do you know those people are innocent? What do you want to say? You create a quiet plot. That's right. But you cannot win with your way. We'll see. You need a middleman. Tell me what you want. I can help you. Cop helping a criminal? Yeah, right. Anything you want to know about the case? I don't want to discuss. Then we we'll wait for Wei Xiaofu. So many questions. My turn now. Cops don't see this situation a lot, right? We see many kinds. So how many cases have you handled? I handle at least a hundred every year. How many cops die a year? Last year in China, about 400 died on duty. And how many hostages died? Accidents happen. Accidents? Will there be an accident today? I don't want casualties today. Even me? Sure. Every life is very precious. I stopped believing that ages ago. Although you have done your homework. John, you realize I know you found my secret chamber. And you've seen some of my secrets. So you know that negotiation won't resolve this. We have nothing to talk about. I see that you're a boxer. Fine. We got some time. Let me tell you a story. You were asking about my leg, right? As a boy, I went overseas with my father. Then he killed himself because of gambling debts. And I had to repay them. You see, the only skill I had then was fighting. Maybe it was in my genes. But I always liked pointless things and got into fights. Fighting is really about who's more brutal. I never had a worthy opponent. Money in exchange for lives. The life is so worthless. Gone in a second. I swore that once I repaid his debt, I'd quit. So during the fighting, I was out of my mind. I finally repaid all his debts, but I didn't want to do anything else. Everything was about the same things. Money, life, and death. So, I continued. You know you may be killed at any time. Of course. My nickname was Spider. Never lost. But a spider is just venom. Worthless life. A legal box is the same. You knew your men from boxing. The two foreigners were the best in their countries. The shorter one, Prashan, was a regular champion. <laughs> Everyone wanted to fight us. I knew it was inevitable. Before the fight, I had a bad feeling. The bets were too big. The fact is, the better you are, the more you're worth. The more you're worth, the closer to death you are. You're gonna tell me what happened at the fight? At the start, the reaver. Then he got the upper hand. <laughs> He will let you win. See, the two bosses had arranged everything. I only found out before the final round that it was a fight to the death. Next round, you kill.
kill him. The boss didn't know. My heart was soft that day. I decided that match would be my last. I'd come home and bring some fighters with me. Corvashan only knew he was supposed to lose. He didn't even know that he was meant to die. I told him the secret. No, no, no! Disobeying the boss usually meant death. So several of us escaped and hid for a while. We're lucky that we made it here alive. Why did you suddenly go soft? Like I said earlier, some things you just don't get. You live quiet life, but you don't have the right to treat other people's life lighter. Everyone has the right to live well. Live? To live well. <laughs> you want to know why I'm alive? Five years ago, you came back to China for a purpose, just for the drugstore robbery. For the truth. This world is full of lies, full of deceit. And this is the only way to find the truth? I should say, this is my way. Don't sit! Don't sit! worth every single penny. The police are trying to save the hostages. You do the same too. Your plan was well thought out. Snipers and assault at the same time. I'm not an amateur criminal! <laughs> Why did you warn me? I wanted to save you. You wanted to help me, and then you wanted to save me. Screen TV on. A gunshot. Chief Zhang. I'm still alive. Your Captain Zhang's alive as well. Cut the crap, okay? I want to see Wei Sha Fu. You're so late at night. What's this about? Good. Bring him in to see me. Who are you? You're kidding. I don't want to go in. Mr. Wu, it's already against the rules to bring a prisoner here. Please understand. We must guarantee his safety. Do I guess you've been playing me? You want to see Wei Xiaofu, right? This is where you stand. You took hostages. You spy on injured people. I can kill some hostages. And I can make sure you'll never see Wei. You will never achieve your goal. And the police will find another way to attack. What are you saying? Right now, I'm the only one who can help you to get to see him. He trusts me. I can bring him in. I go out and talk to him. You free the people. Think about it. You know, life is just like a cocktail. Get it together. What Hi. does the next sip taste like? Gonna get out of this Brother, I got the oh, footage you wanted. Here, trust me, I did it. Gonna be fine. Just man up. Seriously, never heard us yet, have you? You've done anything to us. If you don't come back, trust me, I shall return. But you must guarantee way safety. Huh? But don't you even trust my guarantee? Trust is mutual. You can take two people out, except your daughter. I said all the hostages. No way. I need to keep a few here. I know who they are. The rest I will take away with me. No. Forget it. Hey! Three, then. No way. You can only take three out! Put the gun down! You two guys are hot-headed. So, cut it out.
you beat him. I release them all to you. But if you lose, you go alone. Pa, no, you're hurt. You can't beat him. Don't do it. You know what? You're not young anymore. You'll lose face if he beats you. Forget it. Do it. Fight! Go on, do it. You're a cop. Shut up! Get us off it! Why won't you fight him? Fight. Pa! It's a greed. Hey, 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 don't push. Don't push. I'm gonna see you. Fight him! You're a cop. Take less than a minute for the beach is so bad you won't stand. <laughs>
Fine, let him go. You win. I must first take my daughter out. When Wei Xiaofu comes, she can leave. I'm not going. I'll wait here. I'll stay with my father. Just don't regret it. Per our agreement, I'll give you the hostages. But only three at first. Oh! These changes are fair. I'm still concerned you won't come back. It's my leverage. Before you bring Wei Xiaofu here, I'll free the other people. I'm keeping my word. You want to choose who goes? Brother Wu! I don't want to quit, but I just can't go on. Can I go out with them? My health is poor. Can I be one of them too? Hey Wu! If you think I'm more useful here, I'll stay with you. It's okay. Pick me! Pick me! Pick me! Pick me! I want to get out of here! So you decided which three first? The two injured people. And him too. You. Me? Just me? I can't. I have to stay with my girlfriend. Earlier on, you fought back. If there were more men like you, it'd be a better world. Fine, take four. Go together. You. You lost a tooth? That's an injury. Me? Alone? No, I gotta stay with him. Yes, yes, I owe him the money. I'll pay him out. I You know, if you drank less, you'd have more money to pay oh, your work. No. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Captain, you have to come back for us. Brother John. You've got ten minutes. I'm very punctual. Get ready for the hostage. We need a structure. There are four more coming. This is a suspect. Cover him. Go. Get him up. Get him up. Thank you, man. Wait. Thank you, man. This one, too. Hurry up. You hurt? Chief Zhang. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Just scratches. Check out these suspects. Yes, sir. Three suspects, three guns. Their locations? Men Hall. Together with 16 hostages. How are the hostages? Physically. They're okay, but they cannot last much longer mentally. Ah, Lieutenant. Just now you took action too soon. Not good enough. Captain, the suspect wants to speak with you. I'll tell you what I know. I'll, it'll save you time, okay? Speak. Copy that. I did this for money. <clears throat> I never thought he'd turn it into this. You know Don't go back inside, or else you'd never get out. The foreigners and we were sworn brothers. And they said they don't plan to get out alive. That's all I know. Hey, man. Thanks. Her team needed a car for. Sir, these blueprints are from the building's management. Eight minutes left. The interior of the club is different from the blueprint. The windows are sealed. That custom made door is steel. 25 centimeters. Impenetrable. And the walls are 50 There's a back centimeters. Door, but it's now been completely sealed. Got the manager. How could you let these venues make those changes? It's common in this area. You can't control it. Fine, you can go. But stick around. This guy means business. He built a steel fortress. And here? The roof structure is complex. You can go in there and take cover. Got seven minutes. Guard number one, return to headquarters. Sure, sure. This is a homemade bomb. You see the timer? You can see the wiring is really quite sophisticated. I think there's multiple detonators. Total annihilation. The hostages are the major issue. The best way to rescue everyone is for me to bring Wei Xiaofu inside. Leverage in two men for a dozen. Huh? He agreed to go in? Now, got me. Get it. Drop that. 
called my mother a few days ago. She asked me to behave, try for early release. I really need your help. You screwed up. Your safety is a concern. It may be dangerous, but we try our best. Come on, work with us. We may be able to reduce your sentence. <sighs> it still feels screwed up, so I say forget it. We cannot force you to do this. By the way, thanks for taking care of my ma. That was our deal back then. Everyone on our team donated to your family. I'm grateful. I got something, information on the suspects. Ben, he's Thai. He's Sean Filipino. And this is Wu. He returned five years ago. Holds a Thai passport. Back then we found that our victim May's parents were divorced. The mum died, and the brother went overseas with the father. Never found him. I think Wu Jiang is Xiao Wei's brother. So obviously he's not asking for Wei Xiaofu's release. Three hostages in the bar were eyewitnesses back then. He's trying to find out what happened before deciding what to do. Cop thief witnesses. They're all here. Man, it's been five years, huh? Sir, four more minutes. So what's your plan then? We'll pretend to go in as Chung Wen or Wei Xiaofu, and SWAT standing by. Then we can cut a hole in the roof. Door opens. From above and below, we'll charge in. Coming in from the door is difficult. At least this will get their attention. Too dangerous. Look, we don't know how long it would take to cut the roof. I'll see safety is priority. I can try to talk him No, down. you can't talk him down. Wu doesn't want to live anymore. What could we talking do? This kind of situation calls for aggression. We'll strike the fear of God into them. Using aggression is too risky. And going back isn't? I gave them my word. At least he'll trust me. Then there's a chance to talk. Come on, but you've been talking for six hours now. These talks can go in for months. I don't know. Yes, that's how I got the injury out. Didn't I? Hey, the lieutenant's just worried about your safety. Leveling two men for twelve? Good deal. All right, enough. In the rules. The one who goes in is the lieutenant. That's not you. This is my case. This is the same case from five years ago. I am going! Also, my daughter is inside there. Chief. That's the exact reason he should stay away. Okay, enough arguing. I agree that Zhang should go in. But Wei Jiafu is a body double. Wu <sighs> Jiang would see the difference right away. It just won't work. Chief Jiang, you might want to see this. <laughs> Repeat what I say. Three more minutes. The thug says... What? I mean, he says three more minutes. If they don't come, I'll kill you. If you don't come... He will kill me. And no tricks. <laughs> and no tricks. He doesn't look like he's joking. Please, come save me. Uh... You got less than three. Chief, Wei Shofu says he'll do it. His reasons? Uh, first, to repay the favor. Second, he's not a coward. He's a real man, huh? Cut the hole small and try to save time. Get sir, yes, sir. Go. Move out. Get the box for him to get away Sir. The lieutenant's got the assault. It's up to you. Officer Jones, I want you to be the sniper. Sir! Your own safety is key. You always tell us that, right? The sniper needs a few minutes to set up. Try to talk, but if you can't, just stall him. I'm in charge. It's loaded. Listen to that earlier. We are brothers. I didn't want it on you. Listen, try to give me a few more minutes to talk. If I can control the scene, don't let the sniper shoot. All right, I'll try. Is safe and warm. It's here. 70 kilograms. Right. Is that a plus two? <laughs> so, I mean, I might get a reduced sentence for this, right? Uh, I would really like to be able to take care of my mom. Hostages are coming out. Confirm. Copy that. Over. Quick, quick, hurry! Any comments? Can you say anything? Hey. <laughs> Captain John, are you, are you being brave because your of your daughter? Is she right in there? Would you go back in? What's wrong with her? That woman's a real piece of work. When everyone is out, we're going in. We go in, but will we 
get out? I will protect you with my life, I promise. <sighs> and what if you die first? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm a bit nervous, that's all. Come on. Once inside, stay next to me and don't move. So can I talk? Speak the truth, not nonsense. Hey, what did you stuff into my clothes just now? That's nonsense. <laughs> Hey, lift up. Bro, you should, you know, you should get a job at airport security. I know a guy. Go. Get out, not just fight, yeah? Well, look, uh, Faith, we're together again. Pa! I'm up here! Pa, I'm okay! Pa, be careful! Policeman, save me first! I, I, I'm afraid of heights! Hey, look at what that guy's wearing. It must be special. Can he use it to get us out? What's going on here? Yeah, and what is this thing tied around my neck? Just tell us what's going on! It looks like a bomb. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Ah! It's not fake. What's wrong? We counted everyone who came out. We're missing one. There might be a hostage still inside. I'm quite impressed with you, Captain. You really brought him in. I'm always a man of my word. I want you to let more people go. And don't make things worse for yourself. We can explain everything away. Minimize the damage. I can help prove you stop on your own. You can't help me. This is my time now. 18 minutes. Come on, what is that guy wearing? A bit ridiculous, isn't it? We have to protect him. But you can't protect him here. You also guarantee his safety. He? Safe for now. I can't recognize him in that. Take it off him now. Helmet off. Stay back. Stay back! Hey, don't come over, man! Back off! And hey, dude, who's afraid anyway? They probably all hate me, but I'm not scared. You must think I'm a coward. Don't move! And I don't want to wear this. I... No. No air, man. I was getting dizzy. Ah, brother. I'm not afraid. Wei Xiaofu. That's what's his name. Hey! hey Wei Xi. Put it back on. Come on, relax, Cap. I'm with you now. Did they force you to come here? No, you're wrong there. I came voluntarily. You've made plans, and now everyone's together. We'll know what happened five years ago. I've waited a long time. You all know this young lady, right? So now you understand. She's my sister. We were separated for many years. I found her five years ago. She was the reason I lived. I came back. But I didn't see her. So I came up with a way to get you all together. I know five years ago something happened. I don't know much. But you were all there. So let's talk about it now. It's... it's been a long time. What if I can't remember? Well, how about this? Will that help you remember? Let, let me think. I can remember. So, let's begin. When we're done, we can leave, right? Not everyone will make it out. So, then how do we get out of here? Don't mess with me. I know that's hard for you. Say what you want to say. Hurry up. 
So who wants to go first? Hey, cutting the roof is slow. The team is worried about the noise it'll cause. I guess you're right. My first idea won't work. Play for more time. Do what you can. Fine. Let me stop, please. Hold it. Captain, if you're wearing a communication device, remove it. Save me the trouble. Captain, we're using other ways to break in. We can start the assault in 15 minutes. Till then, it's all yours. Wait, Shafu, I want you to go first. The whole thing started because of me. Well, that night, around this time, I saw a few customers at the drugstore, so I went in. I wanted to make something for my mom. Her health isn't good, but supplements are expensive. I couldn't afford them. I should have gotten out of there and minded my own business. Hold on, I want to check. Come on, we're leaving. You dropped Why it. Why have I gotten fatter? I was just going to ask whose wallet it was. Oh, please. After all this, who are you kidding? You were drunk, so what did you know? Well, I did drink a little. But that doesn't mean I couldn't see. <sighs> Give it. What is this? I, I picked it up from the ground. You stole it! Uh, I just stole it! Do you know I, who I, I am? Did. How dare you steal? I, Go to hell! I really did pick it up! Hey, hey, wait! Don't move. And then. And then? And then. Hurry! I know what's next better than you. Go to hell! I really did pick it up! Wait! No move. From here, right? You'll pick this up, too? You have any more? Two boxes. I'm a man of principle. I need a reason to do something. You call that reasonable? Well, one plus one equals two, doesn't it? You're just making things worse. What? I remember every single word you said that night. This costs tens of thousands. Hey, you have really good taste, man. So then, what should we do? Should we handle it here or call the cops? Hmm? Pay or get arrested? You can't tell? He's poor as hell. Police. Fine, I'll call him now. Give him a break. No police! I was afraid. Didn't want a big deal. Listen, that's how it became a big deal. Wanna call the police? Don't you dare! Stop! Wanna die? What do you want? What are you doing? Give it. Right now! Give it to him! Hurry up! 911? Looking back on it now, I wasn't thinking at the time. I should have just run. The three of them wouldn't have stopped me. I just... Give me the phone! Oh, hey! Oh, the drugstore! The street! Oh, oh, give it! And my was thrown to the ground. You all just... stood by and watched them. And he backed away. My small body would have been useless. No, of course I wanted to help, but they ran off first. I had no experience fighting one on one. Honestly, I wasn't afraid of him at all. This guy dragged me away. But no, he didn't. And afterwards? I'll take over the story from here. I was off duty and driving by. Hey, hey policeman! Something's happening inside. What's up? Something's happening. Step! Back up! Don't come in closer! He tried to steal something, and that girl called the police! That, that, that thief! He, he stole my... Please step up. Back up! Stay back! Cut this patch and local police. I was thinking that... I'll speak for you. The criminal could hurt the hostage. Don't you move! Back up! And you, Captain Jong, had the power to decisively end the situation. Yeah, try it! <laughs> That's ridiculous. If it had been like that, it would have been simple. I've said all life is precious. I wouldn't shoot without understanding. Captain Zhang's habit is a talk. That's no rush. Just take your time. But Zhang was distracted. A family emergency came up. His wife was on the way to the hospital and was hit by a car. Emergency surgery. The hospital's calling, and so was his daughter. Hello? Oh, I understand. You're on the phone? I'm on my way. On my way. Get off! Yeah. And that's when Wei Xiaofu lost control. Hang up! Is this a trick? Yeah. You 
think of bluffing, man. And after that, we all know what happened. Captain John, tell us what happened inside. Do you have any comments? That was pretty creative. Huh? What makes you so sure? Yeah, you were there, so tell us what you know about it. Are you done talking? I'll tell my son. Mia has told you, but she doesn't know much. That evening, my wife was running a high fever. I was working, and I couldn't take her to the hospital. She took a cab alone, and the accident happened. I ignored my phone, but felt something was wrong. I was feeling really torn that day. The captain was very patient. No hurry. Take a time. Talk it out. When I called back, I found out what happened. I rushed to the hospital, but it was too late. I want to explain to my daughter, but she won't listen or forgive me. I wanted to talk him down in one go. I took the medicine from my mother. Come on, let's talk it out clearly and do what must be done. Let the young woman go now. You don't want to hurt her. That would be bad. Your mom's difficulties can be worked out. Will that do for now? Can't you just let me go, huh? Please, I beg you. Wei Xiaofu was worked up. Your sister was quite calm at the time. I really didn't know what I should do, and suddenly all accidents happen suddenly. Okay, let me explain it. I remember that there was a commotion outside. Then your sister suddenly quietly said, "Just, just kill me." What did she say? She was speaking so softly. I thought I heard wrong. What'd you say? And you heard it too. I only heard one shout. That was the second time. What'd you say? Just kill me! Hey, what are you doing? Are you crazy? It wasn't me. I need help. Ambulance! She cut her jugular and bled to death. This is the truth you are seeking. So you're saying my sister Xiao Wei killed herself? Yeah, of course. I was only using my knife to scare her. I never thought she'd grab it. It scared the crap out of me, and I got manslaughter. And why should I believe you guys? I do. You weren't even inside then. But I knew something was wrong when she came in. The key is the pills she bought. What pills? Tell me what pills? Hey, man. Huh? Maybe you should tell it. Hey, what are you? I'm testing it for leaks. You still gotta pay for that one. Fine. There are two types of leaks. Sleeping pills. Prescription. Hundred of them. Sorry, but by law, it's sold by prescription only. See, I'm a man of principle. And then what? How about I take it over from here? But those laws are dead, and people are living, right? But let me make it clear. If you're trying to scare someone, just tell you, uh, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, huh? Uh, but it doesn't cost that much. All right, I'll give you a hey, few. Hey, hey. Uh, yeah, yeah, coming. Yeah, just wait a second. You done? Yeah. So tell them the rest of the story. So which one? They're almost the same. You broke up. It's always over these things. Uh, I've taken those once before. It was horrible. You won't die. They'll just pump your stomach out, and you'll vomit your guts out. What else did you say? Nothing. Huh. Don't paint yourself into an angel, because I remember what you said next very clearly. So you want true love? I don't trust anyone anymore. There's plenty of fish in the sea. I'm nothing like you. What am I, and what are you, huh? Come on, don't be that way. Fine, see if I care. Go die. Do what you want. When did I say all that? That's what you said. Trust me, Wu. I never said that. I really tried to talk her out of it as hard as Thank I could. You. Your sister died because of what she said. Oh, please! You knew she was depressed, and you sold her sleeping pills. You threw her, sold her the drugs. They're working together. Everyone, shut up! Please calm down. Authorities found sleeping pills. This is the truth. But that isn't suicide. And in front of a cop? In extreme emotions, anyone may go overboard. Well, I know why. Hey, hey, hey watch it. Half the women commit suicide for a man. On the other half for many men. Uh, Mr. Wu. I know because I've done it. I realize now that hey, it's hey. not worth it. But many women don't know that. Listen, I completely understand how you are feeling. It cannot have been easy. So many years living abroad, 
Your sister was your only family. She was the light of your soul, am I right? If I were you, I would have done the same. You came back to find out what happened. And avenge your sister, that's natural. Go on, you got five minutes. You planned for so many years to punish the person responsible for Xiao Wei's death, right? Let's not argue with your method, <laughs> but I have to say, you had the wrong people. You're saying that you're all innocent? Yeah. What Lan Lan just said makes some sense. Explain it. There's one more factor, and you know this. Your sister was pregnant at the time. In Xiao Wei's eyes, you are her parent. She would have told you about the pregnancy. Okay, that's enough. I have to say, when the M.E. discovered she was pregnant, we investigated. She had no marriage record. The child's father never came or called us. You see what I mean? It's men. The people here are really not the ones you want. Even if you find a man, there might be a reason. You're trying to confuse me. I'm trying to clear your mind. Even if you're right, you're out of time. You set everything up as if you were a child. To me, every one of you is guilty. In fact, the law John, has already. You just looked on as my sister died in front of you. And you're a cop. I admit I was wrong. Wei Shafu, your knife killed her. You think 10 years in jail will pay for her life? What else can I do? No, Lan Lan, you let her die. You are all killers. Huh? What did I do wrong? Do you mind everyone else's business? That's what it's like now. Listen, Wu, if you want to kill me, tell me why. I even helped and begged her. She told me she didn't trust anyone. Whose fault is that? It's not mine. And you, pharmacist, wanted to make a small profit? You killed my sister. I'm not the only one who does that. Listen, she didn't die from the pills, right? <laughs> <laughs> Shoot! Tell them to put the gun down! Don't force me to Please shoot! Kill me. My legs been Stop, Wu! You can still live if we surrender now! No shooting! Shut up, Wu! You are, I'll shoot you! This is a great suit! Drop your gun! Back off! Uh, behind you! Uh. Life really is just like a sweet cocktail, huh? It's not till the last sip where you find out if it's sweet or bitter. You know, you're really something. <sighs> Introductions. This is Akun. He makes drinks. And bombs, too. And my leg! <laughs> no, 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 Relax. The bombs on your necks are fakes. But I have the real ones for later. And if you can escape. I am begging you spares. Why didn't you go ahead and kill me? Glad you understand. I want to save you, but it's over. No, it's not yet. You're Shawi's boyfriend, am I right? Is this a joke? I found a photo among her things. The tattoo on your arm really struck me. You made changes to it, but I can't still recognize it. That's true. That's true! Since John has seen through me, I'll just tell you. <laughs> He's right. It's true. Interesting. I thought you ran off ages ago. I never thought you'd come work for me and learn to make bombs. Now you're pointing your gun at me? What do you want? I wanted to see how you'd avenge May's death. Good for you. So now, we're finally here. Back then, I was... A coward. But now I've thought it through. Since I'll be here to the very end, I fear nothing. Talk fast! You've got two minutes. But Wu, you had a hand in Xiao Wei's death too. What? You see, Xiao Wei told me what kind of man you wanted her to date. Nothing at all like me. But I fell in love with her. Completely. She got pregnant and told you. You told her you'd come back and kill me. Do you know how much that hurt her? You were so angry. I didn't have any hope. So I mentioned breaking up. That night, we had a really big fight. She stormed out crying. I ran after her. I didn't think that would be the last time we saw each other. I never knew how fragile life really was. The only reason I'm alive now is for revenge. Only after hearing everyone's story did I realize how much she hated me. We didn't treasure, we don't deserve to have back. 
Right, bro? Right? Come on. You have a gun. For the room. I did the most wrong to Xiao Wei. So I deserve to die. No, I could have gotten on. But there's no point. You ruined my plan. Why this is your plan? Involve hurting my daughter. Everyone's lies. Except maids are worthless. No one has the right to take a life because you're angry. <laughs> That's why! My sister didn't have to die. So you have to harm even more people if Xiao Wei were alive. What she wants to see? But Xiao Wei is already dead! She's never coming back! You must treasure your life some more! Papa! Please, free my daughter now. This is it. Imagine you five years ago. Shoot me. You'll be commanded, and I get to die. It's a win-win. Of course, there could be an accident. I'm begging you. Free my daughter. Fine. If I let her go, is it over? No, you must pay for what you have done. <laughs> Throw me the gun. No, I'm not. I'm not giving him the gun. Throw me the gun! Wu <laughs> Zhang! You're absolutely right. Someone must pay for what happened. I would do anything for my sister! Sadly, right now, I know I'll never escape. Brother, we have one last game. That gun has one bullet left. Before the next train comes, you have to shoot. If you choose to shoot the criminal, the knife will pierce the hostage's neck. But you shoot yourself, and the hostage lives. Ma! Don't believe him, Ma! If you shoot the criminal, the knife will pierce the hostage's throat. But shoot yourself, and the hostage lives. If you don't shoot before the train comes, I'll still kill her. 
Who lives, who dies, that is up to you. I was slain then because I was saving someone else. I was wrong to blame you. But I also failed then. Brother, the train's almost here. I'll take responsibility for your sister's death. I speak now as a father. My daughter has nothing to do with this. Please don't hurt her, no matter what. Good. I want to see you try and be that father. Okay. You got ten seconds. Ah, no! Ten. Nine. Eight. Mia. Seven. I am an incompetent father. Six. I never had time for you. Five. I could not make you feel safe. Four. Or three. But I would do anything for you. Two. You are my life. I'm sorry. I removed the bullet. I went to last night for my sister! It's just sleight of hand. <laughs> Brother, you win. You can go. Go wait on the platform! Oh, I'm not leaving you! Hurry, go get help! This is an order! Now! Go! Run! Brother, is there something else? I gotta arrest you. Just pretend I disappeared. I would do anything for my sister. I'd die for her. Watch out! Don't do this! Don't try and stop me! Don't lose it! Wait for what I've done! Look at me like a bug. A witless life. Don't bother with me! Hostages are safe, so don't apply for a reprimand. We shall we all right? Don't worry, he's a tough kid. Take good care of him. Pa, you're a 
amazing. I'm ordinary. Don't be modest, cop. <laughs> Give your dear break from now on. Mm. Wujang has a message for you. He says you win this round. This is for you. He says goodbye for now. <笑>哎 你跟什么样的人<笑> 你放胆讲啊<笑> 谁有把出头转的好酒的伤口<笑> 